think big. My mind's still running through all the conversations I had with Arnold Schwarzenegger last night in his kitchen. Talked to him for about an hour. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know what people always love? Get to the chopper. What do you think is the most popular one? Get to the chopper or hasta la vista? Get to the chopper! <laughs> one of the greatest conversations I've ever had, and that's one of the takeaways. Think big, you know, he told me, he said he always thought big. He said, don't worry about failure so much, Ty. How far can you really fall? We're all only a few feet from the ground. And I was thinking, mentors, you know, he told me about his mentor, Reg Park, his first mentor. And I thought, that's what's wrong in the world. That's why it's so easy to feel lost. Who do we have guiding our way? You know, you gotta go out and you have to find people. You have to find people who have done it before, who can shorten the path, who can keep you from failure. He told me, he said, don't fail too much. One of the reasons he doesn't procrastinate and can think big, he said, is because he, uh, he at 20 years old, won Mr. Olympia. So he said he got used to success and he tasted success. And so, you know, make sure you find some little wins in life. Don't always lose. It's a myth that you only want to learn from mistakes. Well, you learn from mistakes. They don't have to be yours, though. And you can also learn from wins. You know, Arnold learned from his wins. There's my dad. I told him, I said, my dad was a pro bodybuilder. My dad would love that I'm in here talking with you, Arnold. There's Arnold. Seven-time Mr. Olympia. Multi-millionaire before he was 30 in real estate. Two-time California governor, not a man without flaws. We all have flaws. I always think of that saying, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. But what he's achieved is something you and I can learn from, you know? And, and so much of life becomes nitpicking and you bring up people's names and people go, oh, well, he's not perfect there. He's not perfect there. I'm like, yeah, but have some respect. Have some respect for somebody who did stuff. And, you know, I was... I saw he's a philanthropist, you know, and he genuinely cares. Took the time out to talk to me. Didn't have to talk to me. I wasn't paying him to talk, you know. He told me, he said, Ty, he likes to work out uh, on an empty stomach. I said, why? He said, because he always figured he had a little bit too much fat. So I'm in here in the gym. You don't follow his, uh, his level. He said he didn't procrastinate. He learned from his father the value of, of not just being lazy always having something to do. He says he likes to wake up, he likes to read a lot, gets up, he gets active, always doing something, you know? Keep yourself, I wouldn't say entertained, it's important to sit back and think. And he told me he likes to do that early in the morning, but people in the modern world with all this convenience we have, the next thing you know all you're doing is just sitting around not accomplishing anything. You know, go out, conquer the world, conquer your fears. Think big. That's all I could think. You know, he's a big dude, strong, but his life was big. Made some mistakes. Made a lot of great <laughs> uh, attempts and successes. Yeah. I'm going to post the full talk we did here soon, but just thought I would post that while I was walking in here and get a little weights going. Whenever I learn something from a mentor, I try to immediately put it in practice. Even if I won't do it exactly like, you know, perfectly, obviously people are different, but try to become an action taker. You hear something, you read a book, do it. Try it. Arnold Schwarzenegger tells me he likes to work out before he eats breakfast. Hey, can't get a better piece of advice from, from a, a, you know, man who achieved, like I said, seven time Mr. Olympia. So, who's your mentor? How big you thinking? How much do you fear falling? Watch for my video. I'm gonna post the full talk, most of it. Some of it's private, but post a good, good bit of it. All right. Oh, by the way, leave me a comment. Comment on something you've been putting off that you know you should do. Some area you're not thinking big that you know you can think big in now.